There have been multiple species of hominins that have roamed the very earth we roam today. Two of which are the Neanderthal species, that has gone extinct, and the Homo sapiens species, which happens to be a species that is still present in this day and age. The Neanderthal and Homo sapiens species are two species that can both be very distinct, but can also be very similar when it comes time to compare and contrast the two. Not only are there obvious physical differences and similarities among both, but there are also mental. You'd be surprised to see how much our species is so closely alike to an alternate one. Neanderthals are a species in the genus Homo that became extinct around 40,000 years ago. Scientists state that non-Africans share around 2 to 4% of their DNA with them and that we're closely related to them. And recent studies have shown even Africans have Neanderthal DNA persisting in the genome of them today. For a long time, Neanderthals were depicted as brutish cavemen who walked with a hunch and wielded clubs. The term has even been used as an insult for many of the same reasons. However, the truth is there is much more to Neanderthals than initially thought. Neanderthals are known for their short, stocky bodies and prominent brow ridges, but they made and used a diverse set of tools, were able to control fire, made and wore clothing, were skilled at hunting, and would occasionally create symbolic objects. On the other hand, Homo sapien means, wise man, which is particularly apt given how much we have adapted and achieved. Although there is a common misconception that Neanderthals are our ancestors, they are actually just a really close relative. But just how close are they? The most noticeable differences between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens is their physical appearance. Neanderthals had larger, more robust bodies than that of modern humans. They were shorter and stockier than Homo sapiens, with a slightly larger cranial capacity. Their bodies were adapted for cold climates, with heavier bones, shorter limbs, shorter fingers, and shorter toes. Homo sapiens, on the other hand, are taller and thinner than Neanderthals, with a smaller cranial capacity. We have a long, narrow face with a less conspicuous brow ridge, a smaller nose, and chin. Our bodies are adapted for warmer climates, with longer limbs, fingers, and toes. Even though Neanderthals had larger brains than Homo sapiens, researchers remain unsure of whether this indicates an overall intellectual advantage or not. It may just be that they had larger bodies than us, and needed larger brains to control and maintain those bodies. However, both species seem to cancel each other out when comparing Neanderthal versus Homo sapiens by certain physical evolutionary characteristics, including height. Human height today is influenced by a number of factors like gender, country, and living conditions. However, compared to Neanderthals, people today are taller. The average worldwide height is 5 foot 9 for men and 5 foot 4 for women. Neanderthals, on the other hand, were, on average, 5 foot 3 for men and just 5 foot for women. Teeth. The shape of their teeth provides scientists with the clearest picture of Neanderthal life. According to scientists, Neanderthal teeth developed much earlier than those of Homo sapiens, and they grew faster than human teeth. Neanderthal's teeth were also much bigger when compared to Homo sapiens, with larger roots, large gaps after the molar, and larger pulp cavities. Skeleton Neanderthals and Homo sapiens also have distinct bones, the former having thick and robust bones that were suitable for their intense lifestyle of hunting large game and battling the unforgiving harsh cold. Neanderthals also had an asymmetric humerus in contrast to Homo sapiens, whose humerus is symmetric. Likewise, they had differently shaped skulls, the Neanderthals being bigger. As a consequence, they also had much thicker and longer neck vertebrates to make their robust frame more stable. Morphology Modern humans have narrow pelvises and rounded chests compared to Neanderthals with barrel-shaped chests and wider hips. Their barrel chests, straighter and longer ribs, may have allowed for better lung capacity. Strength. It is not possible to know for certain how strong Neanderthals were, but it is generally agreed that they were stronger than humans. We know this by their bigger, stronger trapezius, deltoid, 
and tricep muscles and having a wider pelvis with a lower center of gravity. Also their pectoral muscle attachments were enormous, about twice the size of a modern human's, and also massive quadriceps, which would have specialized in explosive power. Humans have small quads in comparison. Also from their challenging lifestyle, Neanderthals were well-trained and muscular. Neanderthals were expert hunters and fought mammoths, which they caught and killed. This is mighty impressive, considering a mammoth weighed between 6 to 8 tons. Besides capturing and consuming their prey, Neanderthals also had to carry large quantities of meat back to their families after their kills. Behavioral and Cultural Differences Neanderthals and Homo sapiens were both hunter-gatherers at the time of the Neanderthals. But Homo sapiens were and are more sedentary and have developed agricultural practices. Neanderthals lived in small, nomadic tribes and did not have a complex social structure, therefore having less genetic variation through sexual reproduction. Homo sapiens, on the other hand, developed complex social structures and organized societies, leading to more genetic differences through sexual reproduction. Sapiens also have more sophisticated language and religious beliefs. Neanderthals were more likely to engage in risky behavior and had a shorter time horizon. This suggests that they were less likely to plan for the future and more likely to act impulsively. They also had a larger proportion of their brains devoted to visual and spatial processing, suggesting they were more visually oriented than Homo sapiens. In contrast, Homo sapiens are more likely to plan ahead and have a longer time horizon. We also have a larger proportion of our brains devoted to language processing, suggesting we are more linguistically oriented than Neanderthals. So, regarding behavior and cognition, there are some distinctions and similarities between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. They include Diet Neanderthals primarily hunted and ate large mammals such as elephants, mammoths, woolly rhinos, wild boars and deer, basically any big game in their environment. Neanderthals living near coastal areas also enjoyed some shellfish. In addition, archaeological evidence suggests that Neanderthals also consumed some plants and fungi. In other words, Neanderthals mainly ate meat, with a moderate amount of plants, such as tubers, berries, and nuts. Very similar to Homo sapien but with slightly more meat and less plant material and fruits on average. Intelligence. According to research, Neanderthals were not as archaic as people assumed them to be. Additionally, there is evidence that they could pass messages and communicate effectively, and that they performed rites for their dead. We also find rock art, seafaring technology or evidence that suggests that Neanderthals were able to navigate as well as evidence of burials and even long-distance interactions. Such as a study which shows Neanderthals who lived in Chagaskaya Cave in southern Siberia around 54,000 years ago. Their distinctive stone tools are the exact same as those found thousands of kilometers away in Eastern and Central Europe. All of these actions that have been considered traits of modernity are present in the Neanderthal world to some degree. Speech it has long been speculated whether Neanderthals spoke and whether they communicated using language. However, research indicates that they could speak and communicate using language. According to the same line of research, their speech ability can be deduced from the amount of space at the skull base and the vocal tract structure. Scientists found that the base of Neanderthal skulls were less arched than humans but yet more arched than chimpanzees, which suggests they were able to produce speech. However, the speech may not be in the same sound range or as diverse as Homo sapiens. Despite this, Neanderthals were very skilled at making tools and effective at hunting, indicating that they could communicate effectively no matter how they did it. The Verdict So, what sets us apart from our ancient relatives? It is clear that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens have some physical, behavioral, and social differences. Neanderthals had larger noses, more prominent brow ridges and a more robust build, while Homo sapiens had smaller noses, less pronounced brow ridges and a leaner build with longer limbs. Neanderthals were the first humans to inhabit Europe and parts of Asia and had a variety of physical characteristics that set them apart from modern humans, who evolved in the warmer climate of Africa. Even though our genes suggest that modern humans interbred with Neanderthals, 
and that's led some anthropologists to claim Homo neanderthalensis should be considered a subspecies of Homo sapiens rather than a separate species. But other researchers disagree, and one team of specialists says the Neanderthal's anatomy proves they were a species of their own. They also had more primitive use of tools and weapons and a less sophisticated language than Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens, on the other hand, evolved in Africa approximately 200,000 years ago and had smaller noses and brow ridges, longer legs and arms, and more sophisticated use of tools and weapons. They also had a more complex social structure and organized societies. So even though we could interbreed and have fertile children, the slight differences and the fact that Homo sapiens is the only surviving hominin species make it that we are different from our evolutionary predecessors despite stemming from the same origin.